Jody, my little princess. Oh, I'm so ooh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. A little sad and lost. Like the first time I saw you. I can't even imagine how much I missed you. I didn't. Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. They're looking for you. I had to run away. I, mean, I had no choice. How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> It's come a long way since the days of our little lab. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. <laughs> Have they made any progress on the infraworld? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? <clears throat> On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in a DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. And the father? Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. My mother's been in a, in a mental hospital for 24 years. I mean, why? What happened? That's all the file said. I'm so sorry. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody, she's in a high security DPA facility, and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk. In. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk helping me. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was going to let you go alone, did you? I don't like it, Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
come to see Nora Gray? Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Okay, so it didn't get him this time. What next? I'm working on it. I was afraid you'd say that. Hey, we don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Nora Gray, 7th floor, room 43. So far, so good. first. Aiden. Now unlock the door. Come on. There must be something. far away.
Bro, if you didn't say nothing, this whole gameplay would have been my ass muted, bro. Yeah, no commentary. Fuck. Dude, that sucks. Oh, appreciate you telling me. Hey, you on TV enough so you didn't say nothing? You think I was ignoring you, yes, bro? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do it. I found it, Jody. Good job. Hold on, bro. Let me just take out the cameras. Damn. Yo, I'm trying to take off the cameras, my guy. I wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. I, I was saying earlier, um, we're gonna see her mother, her real mother. She looks like her. Daughter. This is crazy, bro. She lost her she lost herself in the way when she was getting getting well she while well, she was getting birth. Her father died from a heart attack before she even gave birth so her father is dead and also she she also had a gift too Take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Please, that's my baby. Bring her back. I changed my mind. I want her to be a baby. Sedate her quickly. Please. Get the baby oh, out of here. Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Yo, no way. They did this to her. Oh. I'm sorry. And she gave the, the baby to another, another foster parent. Dude. They do that. They did it so dirty, man. What I did. What are you trying to show me? Oh shit! Destroy this thing, Ivan. Destroy it now. Ooh. Well, my little girl. 
I'm getting goosebumps, bro. This is intense. She's in the spirit room, isn't she? I was so afraid I would never see you again. I've missed you so much, Jody. I've missed you so much. What happened? What did they do to you? The drugs they gave me trapped me in this hell. There's nothing, nothing I can do. Just wait for it to end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna help you. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. I love you more than anything else in the world. Yo. Nothing will ever change that. Oh, she's getting. That's the drug that they affected her with. That's crazy, man. Even motherfucker. Yo, for real, they are. The drugs, man. That's crazy, man. But don't they just, like, end her life, then? Is there, is there something else? If I keep her alive, they're gonna do that. I mean, I, I can't end her life. Oh. I can't. I can put her to rest. We gave her a mercy kill. But mercy kills her. Dude. This is heartbreaking, man. Had to be done, bro. Yeah. Rather her be in peace than in pain, bro. I didn't know that was an option, man. Ah. Uh... Don't fucking tell me he betrayed me, man. I was afraid at that beginning that he was going to betray me. Alright, we still have either. Cool. I was afraid they would have got it. Took him away from me. Oh, are we in Dawkins' office? Don't fucking tell me he betrayed me, man. Man, what's up with these guys in these type of paintings, bro? Are they... Are we traveling to the realm of Aiden? 
Don't fucking tell me we are, bro. The most powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Beat him. Oh. It's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. You know, I'm still gonna be a little sus about you. I still like you, but... Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. Oh, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. I just didn't want to give you a chance to use Ivan. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and their baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance. Look, I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? He's at home. He's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? Girl. I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. You're asking me to help the people who wanted to kill me? Is that what you're asking me, Nathan? Listen, Jody. Why should I listen to you? You work for them, and you lied to me about my mother and my parents, and for what? The money, or the power, or the fame? Oh, stop that, Jody. You know that's not true. I know nothing anymore. We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. He's not wrong. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them. And they let you out, you're free. Okay, now that's tempting. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. You have the power to stop this. Dang. Ask about Dawkins, distract the guard, ended Nora's suffering. 70%, 72% did that. Learned your father's name. Didn't explore the cells with Aiden. I didn't even know that was happening. Took the medallion. 98%. I love the story in this game, man. Yeah, the story is really great. I think we're pretty close to the end of the game. Only a couple more hours and then we would be finished. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailaojiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business.
business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the empty world and make sure that no one will try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Don't fucking tell me Ryan's in it, on in this, man. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Oh, gosh. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Damn it. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. This is a little creepy, but sounds like a fatherly thing to say. I just don't like his expression towards that. It's good to see you. For the mission's sake, I'll try to keep Aiden from killing you. But no promises. Well. We're off to a great start. Of course. <laughs> um. I put tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. What the fuck is happening? We gotta catch it already? I will kill you regardless. <laughs> but it could have been fun and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. <laughs> so, I ask you one last time. Who do you work for? Joe Mama. It's completely deserted. You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. The storm's getting worse. What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? There's a house over there. Poor Hadi, I missed it. Got it. Let's go. What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days walking on ice, eating snow for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say. Then shut the fuck up. You guys, I'm freezing. 
You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Genius. <laughs> Give me five, Vince. Did you see that, Jody? Yeah. yeah. Great work, guys. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. Did you get a connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? It, it probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. It just lets you want to take a pee or piss. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. Well, damn. They drove right by me. They see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them.
depending on how long this mission is, is depending if we'll put it in two parts for you guys. It says part eight. I was saying that in the intro. But apparently I was muted, so. Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. That means the rift is... It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there, and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. Interesting. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Aiden to take them out. Aiden? Get rid of them. Yes, ma'am. Okay, do we have a gun around here? Let's go over there. You know, if we're gonna take him out, we should probably run it though. Some warning. So, what do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? Take the sunbrain and go. So, I wonder if they showed us us being captured to see if that's actually something we can avoid. If we can avoid that, I would really prefer that. Piloted a sub like this on the CIA simulator. I mean, maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure. Let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. What, what exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not gonna shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick. Yeah. Give me the explosives.
They look pretty good in that uniform. You do realize we might not make it back alive, right? Yeah, I've known that from the start. Keep diving. The base shouldn't be far. That's going to be it for part eight. I do apologize for the beginning. It's going to be a little weird without the audio, so I will put like a little text saying that there's no audio, but you can still hear the game audio, so that's actually good. So, yeah, this is going to be part eight of Beyond Two Souls. Thank you for watching.